What is up? Greed and Pride here, coming at you with another Brawl video. We're just going to jump right in today. We are doing Timir Elementals. Pretty strong deck, a little hard to control at first before you really learn the strengths of the deck. So we're just going to jump in. Omnath, good commander, really good ability. He does face damage or removal. He makes creatures bigger, he draws cards, overall very good. Basically anything that's an elemental, Veilus. here's our, uh, some counters here. Teferi, it's time twist, very strong. It saves one of your creatures, and a lot of your creatures have entered the battlefield effects. So it really uh, helps there, because it double enter the battlefield effects. So like Agent of Treachery, that's a big reason he's in this deck, is to work with Teferi's Time Twist, so you can th slam him down and you can get a double steal. Chan Resember Cat, good ramp, uh, Regulator, never saw it one time in like 20 games, I don't even know if it's really in this deck or if it's a glitch or what, but it's strong when you actually get it. Some more good Elementals, more good Creeping Trailblazer, Backbone of the deck, the Elemental Lord, very strong. Uh, Frostlink's Midnight Clock, probably some of the first things I would cut. I wasn't really feeling them. So if you were wanted to make this deck, these would be some of the first things I would cut. We got all three of the new Chandras. We got Cutie Chandra, Teenage Chandra, and Legal Chandra. So that's why the Regulator's in there. They are very strong. This one particularly buffs your whole board very, very strong. Risen Reef, the absolute foundation of the deck. You get Reef out on three, opponent can't deal with it, and you just keep slamming down elementals, and you just keep drawing your whole deck. Easy peasy. Uh, Thicket Crasher and Chillbringer. Chillbringer for sure. If I could cut one card, it'd probably be Chillbringer. Thicket Crasher, I wasn't super crazy about. It worked well with Lavakin, because you could buff Lavakin up really big and then give it Trample, but besides that, I wasn't really feeling it. Nissa, very strong card. Ramp and all of her c creatures she makes are elementals, so it works very well with the deck. Chandra, wind condition and board wipe. Embercleave, just because it's always funny. Embercleave will never not be funny. Hydroid Crasis and Agent, they're not elementals, but they are very strong. Hydroid Crasis, just with all the ramp in this deck, you really get big Crasis. Here's the mana base. I just threw in everything I could. Gateway Plaza is a little slow for this deck. This deck kind of likes aggro over mid-range, so that might be a cut. I'm not sure. Here it is sideways. See all the pretty pictures. Just looking at this deck, just going do it, giving like a back and forth. Chillbringer, I would definitely cut if I was you. And Midnight Clock, I would probably change to a different mana rock. Maybe one that can produce any color. But besides that, pretty solid overall. And we're going to get out there and we're going to win some games, you know. We're going to do the Wednesday Brawl, baby. Let's get it on. Hey, Mono Green should be a good matchup for us. Unfortunately, Chandra 6 is... Ooh, all three colors and Risen Reef. Thank you. Chandra 6 will not be able to burn out the land. But besides that, the land tokens that... Uh, that Nissa makes, but besides that, should be a good matchup. Lava Coil on two, that's good. Risen Reef coming out, that's strong. Yeah! Why does that keep happening? What is going on? Stop. There we go. So I'm going to do that. Do a little draw a Rooney. Do a little lava coil Rooney. Do a little two damage Rooney. Okay. There we go. Next turn, probably Thicket Crasher. That would have been nice to hit with Risen Reef so it doesn't take up my land for a turn, but whatevs. Oh, opponent going. 
You know what? I'm just gonna straight up murder that. Deep imp slap. Slappy. Slap slap. Okay. Yep, I thought mono green would be a good a good match for us and it was. Hey, it's a fairy. This is gonna be horrible. Uh this hand's pretty solid though. No blue. Which sucks. And the second that Teferi comes down, that quench is gonna be useless. There we go. I'm just gonna keep Quench open next turn because that that Teffers cannot come down because Teferi is the devil. So I'm gonna play Steamkin, keeping the blue open. And I'm gonna pass the turn. I'm gonna quench that to fairy, and it's gonna feel oh so good. Play it. Play it. You coward. Do it. Get all that tempo. That's lame. What what is that? What is going on here? You have both your colors. You didn't miss a land drop. Just let me quench you. Come on. Going against Boros. Hmm, this will be interesting. Could be Boros Angels, could be Boros whatever. I will keep this. Doesn't really do anything. I'll have a coil is gonna be good against Boros though. I'll have plenty of targets. And I have all three colors. So who am I to complain? Slow start from both of us. They got the weird Liliana ones. Uh, I think most of my creatures are red, maybe. Lavakin's red, so I'll just do that. Cutie Chandra, not something we can deal with right away. That was a weird sound effect. If I can Ember Cleave her next turn, that's going to be primo. Okay, so no double shock. Mm, no. I mean, that's my only creature. I cannot risk her being lightning bolted or something. Okay. That kind of actually does suck. Do I Ember Cleave her? Do I Chandra? Do I Lava Coil her? This might not be the right play. It's the funniest play, though. And that's all that matters. I just did five damage to myself. Okay, it only did three. That's good. Oh, because of the trample, the other two rolled over. I gotcha. That's good. Well, I have single removal, card draw life gain, board wipe, big meaty boy. I'm looking pretty good here. I'm looking... I'm looking damn good. That's scary. I mean, the opponent's dead right here if they don't have anything. They can't have Settle the Wreckage. Okay, just a Justice Strike. And a Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. No, I don't think I will. Kind of slow down on lands here. Not that I need them. 
Bone Crusher Giant. Come on, another creature with three toughness. I always forget that. I mean, it doesn't matter here. That doesn't change my play at all, but I always forget that. She has five toughness anyway, so that doesn't matter. I'm going to play Krasis for zero here. Hey, they got nothing. So next turn, Buku damage next turn. I'm talking Buku damage. Ha! Huh. I used to love this card. It's pretty terrible. But I still like it. Yeah, yeah. I might as well kill her. Okay, well, that was going to happen either way. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to start the damage ticking. You can have that in a hurry all you want, but I highly, highly doubt you can deal with this Chandra right away. As long as she's on it for two turns, she's done her job. Unless you have an exile effect right here. Cool. Do I exile? Nope, I'm just going to keep on taking up. I'm going to play Risen Reef. I only have one blue. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm going to put this on Horizon Reef. I only have one blue. I didn't even think about it. Oh well. If my opponent couldn't kill Chandra last turn, they can't kill Chandra this turn. And I should, once I get three emblems, it should be game over at that point. Oh. Never mind then. Aren't I just a silly goose? Well, it looks like I just need a big old crisis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No attacks. Oh man, I should have taken that Aurelia a little more seriously. I probably should have exiled her with Chandra. Mm. Am I the stupid one here? No. Oh, I am the stupid one here. Okay, so I play Thicket Crasher. Chandra Spitfire. Command Tower. Does dealing four damage mean anything? I don't think so. I'm gonna attack face. Then when he burns Nahari,
I can Teferi's Time Twist it. Or I can Outlaw's Merriment. I assume you equip that. So Slain Fire doesn't do anything here because she has First Strike. Ten damage doesn't kill me. No blocks. Good game, because I win now. La 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 la. Okay. Let's draw another one. I want a good pimp slap. Draw another one. That's lame. Oh well. You're gonna pimp slap. Boop. The pimp slap of death. Target an elemental I control. Doesn't matter. And no attacks, and I let that Chandra slap. whoop Kill him. That was a good match. Nope. You do not even get to see what you get out of Merriment. No gambling joy for you. Only I get to gamble. Oh, mono blue mill. Interesting. Uh, no green, but Light of the Stage is good. I should be able to play it for one as well. I really hope this isn't just Petitioners. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. I'm taking that, Jace. I'm making mac and cheese, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. That's annoying. Who does this? Uh, who finds joy from this? do they have for one mana? Do they have an uns... Oh, they can mill. Okay, well that would have been a bad draw, so I'm happy it's gone. That's fine, too. That's a good draw. Yes! Get out of here with that trash. Play a real deck. Play real mill like a man. Petitioners. Psh. Golos of the Dead, <clears throat> my absolute favorite brawl deck. Probably going to beat us here. Uh, psh. We have all of our colors, but nothing else really. Here we go. That quench is going to be good for killing Golos. Scorch Spitter comes down. Oh, whew, I, that spooked me for a second. Mm. That should be safe enough. I don't think I have to. I don't think I need to burn myself. That might be the wrong play. I might need two blue in the future, but I don't know. Don't burn yourself if you don't have to, kids. What are you looking at that for? I could go into Nissa next turn. But...
I really need to save that quench for Golos. That's weird. That's really just the same thing, isn't it? Well, I have all my... I've got double red, double blue, and double green now. Attack first. I'm gonna do Gilgate, and I'm just gonna hold that quench open for Golo. So I'm gonna quench him, and the opponent is gonna scoop. Because people that play Golos have very fragile egos. I can tell you from experience. If even one millisecond of the game doesn't go my way when I play Golos, I scoop. I'm just gonna scoop. I'm just gonna keep the pressure up. Keep the pressure up. Is there any world in which I can play Omnath now? Probably not. Uh... In case I need double blue for any reason. Well, now Golos is their entire turn. I see. I see. Whoops. I just lost that mana. And I can't even scry because I don't have double blue. I'm dumb. Huh. I maybe should have slow rolled that Omnath, but I can just play him again. So it doesn't matter. That's annoying. Yep, yeah, opponent was just dead there. Oh, I was about to reanimate a land and then attack with all, and it was guaranteed six damage. Hey, going against Is it? This should be interesting. <clears throat> Not with this hand, it won't be though. Nope. Yep. I got all my colors. Gonna go is it first. Show them I'm is it too. You don't have to be afraid. And I'm gonna hit him with the Simic Guild Gate. I'm just gonna hit him. Unless I get an untapped green source. Because then I wanna play Storm Kid. Eh, no. I'll probably just play it either way. I want Stormkin after the Risen Reef. Going Simic here. I got all my colors now. I got triple blue and nothing else. Going right for the Royal Silence. They go for a card or for damage? They go straight for the damage, yeah. Probably some form of is it burn if they're going straight for the damage. Never pay two life because it comes in tap no matter what. A little tip from my old Greedo Prido. As long as they don't burn the Risen Reef here, we kind of get some good action next turn. We get a 
Double draw. Okay, they're really going on this beatdown path. Wow. Creeping, creeping trail blazer. An unattainable growth spiral. Lightning storm can, so I can stop the royal scion ult and get another card. Yes, please. I really wish. I had one more green source, that would be nice. Veil of Summer here would just be primo. Do they have an opt? Do they have a shock? Do they have an unsummon? Whatever it is, it, they don't use it to save the scions from the damage, they just keep it. Hm. Could be anything. I don't have anything to recur with Dread Hordes yet. Now, they can give Dread Horde plus 3-0 with Royal Scion, so they can recur up to, okay. They could, if they wanted to, recur up to a 4-mana spell. They're just beating me to death with this Biomancer. You know what? I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it like the little bitch I am. Uh... Yep. Oof, ouch, owie, my life total. Next turn. I don't know, I need another green source. I'm really... Oh, that's a weird one. Yeah, man, I need another green source. I'm really strangle-held on green right now. <clears throat> I think I'm going to main phase Growth Spiral. Actually, no. I'm going to Omnath because I can kill... I'm going to kill Dreadwar Arcanist before anything crazy happens. And now I kill Royal Scions. They can't stop this from happening because I'm going to keep open to fear oh well I guess they could stop it from happening but they can't permanently kill it spectral sailor that's annoying I'm just going to keep Teferi's Time Twist open to protect a creature. That's pff, rude. Uh, there's no way Gargoyle can attack or defend next turn, so it's pretty much just useless. I highly doubt they can mill me seven, and I don't know if there's any card that can fill their hand up at four mana. And they can still attack with the Biomancer, though. Yep, I mean, I'm... There's nothing stopping that Biomancer beatdown. They're going to be pretty exposed if they come in, though. Okay. What's funny is I just have a huge crisis waiting anytime I want.
you know, you gonna try to kill that? Gonna lava coil it or something? Come on, do something with your mana, please. Ha! Nerd alert! I wonder if I just good game this. Nah, I'm pretty far behind. I did just completely shut off whatever they're about to do, though. They might scoop. I mean, I'm far behind on life, but they're far behind on the board. Boom. Boom, big ol' meaty boy. And I get another draw. And it's an Evercleave. Do I just throw everything at face? Do I keep open double red with this? Yeah. Good game. This is beautiful. Could there possibly be a more beautiful way to end this game? Like, there couldn't be, right? In before this isn't actually lethal and I'm stupid. This has to be lethal, right? No, yeah, yeah, it's lethal. Cool. Yes! There's no better ending to a game than Ember Cleaving and Chandra in an entire board of elementals. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun to make. A little frustrating at first. The deck is pretty hard. It's not incredibly user-friendly, but once it gets going, it really gets going. So... Thank you for watching, and I hope you had as much fun watching as I had as much fun making. Thank you.